Lights, camera, cat doesn't give a shit. I think we're all set. Are you ready for some good news? First up, cameras of the future could be smaller and less expensive thanks to a new design that doesn't need a lens. Engineers at Caltech have designed a camera that uses a tiny computer chip called an Optical Phased Array, or OPA, in place of a conventional lens. The OPA is able to focus the image viewed by the camera by selectively delaying how light is received by particular parts of the array. The OPA can also mimic a fisheye and telephoto lens, creating a remarkably versatile camera that would never require its user to change lenses. So far, the Caltech team has only built a low-resolution proof-of-concept camera using an OPA, but in the future, this technology could form the basis of much thinner, less costly devices that can do electronically what current cameras can only do mechanically. The paper on the Caltech team's OPA camera is published in the Optical Society of America Technical Digest. Speaking of optics, here's something that promises to improve another component of your favorite electronic device. Not the camera this time, but the screen. Researchers at the University of Central Florida's College of Optics and Photonics have developed a new film able to reduce reflections on screens, making it much easier to use smartphones and other mobile devices in bright sunlight. The design of the film is based on the anatomy of moth eyes, which are covered with a network of nanostructures that reduce reflections, allowing moths to not only see in the dark, but evade predators who might spot them by the gleam in their tiny eyes. The film is dotted with thousands of microscopic dimples that significantly reduce surface reflection. The screen of an iPhone reflects about 4.5% of the light that strikes its surface, for instance, while the anti-reflection film reflects less than one quarter of 1% of the light that strikes it, preventing bright light from washing out the display. The film also increases contrast on screens when viewed in the shade, and it's scratch resistant. The paper on this anti-reflection film is published in the journal Optica. And finally, a new study suggests that for people over the age of 50, sex can improve brain function. The study, conducted by the University of Oxford and Coventry University, surveyed men and women between the ages of 50 and 83. The participants were asked about how frequently they engaged in sexual activity and were also given tests to evaluate their cognitive abilities in areas such as attention, memory, verbal skills, and spatial visualization. Participants who reported having sex on a weekly basis scored higher on the verbal and spatial visualization tests than those who said they had sex less frequently. This isn't the first study to find evidence suggesting a relationship between sex and improved brain function in people over 50, but it is the first study to find that the frequency of sexual activity makes a difference. The authors of this study intend to keep working to determine what specifically is the cause of the link between sex and improved brain function, which presumably means they'll need some more participants for future studies. So if you drop in on your folks unexpectedly and find them at it, remember that they might not merely be enjoying themselves, they could be doing it for science. And also remember to phone ahead next time. I guess that kind of sucks for you, huh? Because, you know, we had your parts taken out, so you're not getting any. I guess your brain's just going to continue to deteriorate. Should have thought ahead. Oh, well. We'll know for next time, won't we? Well, no, I mean, not we. I will. Anyway, a computer chip enables the design of lensless cameras. A material inspired by the structure of moth eyes could make mobile devices a lot easier to read in bright light. And a new study finds that people over 50 who have sex more often have better brain function. That's the good news. I'm sorry I said those things. That was mean. I didn't want to be mean to the kitty. I'm so sorry. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. 
you can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.